Welcome to the Common Game Tutorials. Today we'd like to show you some of the features of your personal results page. There are two ways you can get to this page. Most often you'll get here by clicking on the link that's emailed to you each week in the Common Game Fast Results email, as shown here. If you're not already receiving this email and would like to sign up, please watch our short tutorial entitled Player Sign Up. The second way to get to your personal results page is to go to the Common Game homepage. Type in your ACBL number and hit Submit. Here with his permission, we're looking at Craig Hemphill's personal results page. Looking at the page, you'll see three distinct boxes of information. Month to date attendance, positional results, and prior games. Let's look at the month to date attendance box. Here you'll see several columns of information. First, we have boards and date. This shows the dates of the games you've played so far this month. Following one of those dates across the box, next you'll see where you played that game, then the percent you scored against the common game field, where you ranked in the field, the common game points earned, if any, and your percent against the club and ACBL master points earned. The last two columns show you the partner you played with and your power ranking handicap for that game. Most of us are familiar with the concept of handicaps and how they're used to level a playing field. Well, what we do here is similar. So for example, if your current handicap is minus 6.9 as here, you're expected on average to score a 56.9% game. So, if you score a 60% gross, your net is 53.1% against the field. You can find a more complete explanation of the handicap in our FAQ section. The handicap listed will be used to determine your percentage for the common games handicapped or net game, the results of which will run side by side the regular game. This is another contest we hope will enrich the experience for our players. Okay, let's go back and look at some of these things in more detail. In the Boards and Dates column, if you click on any of those dates, you'll see a complete board summary for that game. This page shows both your club and common game results for that day. So here, Craig scored a 51.78% at the club and scored a 53.09% against the larger common game field. Below that is the board summary box, which shows the full results against both fields in numerical order by board, 1, 2, 3, etc. In the second box, entitled Ranked by Percent versus Field, the same results are presented, but in a different order. Here the boards are listed in order from your worst result to your best result against the field. This ranking allows you to quickly see where you scored well and where you didn't, giving you a better insight into your play. Then you can zero in on those boards by clicking on the board number, which brings up the hand record and pro analysis for that hand. An asterisk indicates that a pro analysis is available for that hand. Returning to the original personal results page, the second column indicates where you played that particular game. Clicking on the club name brings up that club's page for the common game. Here you can find the month to date common game stats for the players from that club. Again, going back to our personal results page, the third place you can find additional information is the field rank column. If you click on one of the ranks, it brings up the top 20 rankings page for that game, which shows the 20 pairs for each direction, along with full results and hand records for each of the boards, and the pro hand analysis for those hands. Back to the personal results page. As you can see, there's a lot of information available to you just in this first box. If you want to see this information for games you've played in previous months, just scroll down to the prior games box and all the same information is available to you. To learn about the information in the positional results box, please watch part B of this tutorial. 
We hope this has been helpful, and thanks for playing The Common Game.